China has for the first time tested a hypersonic missile vehicle designed to travel several times the speed of sound, according to the Pentagon. The test makes China the second country, after the United States to conduct experimental flights with hypersonic vehicles, a technology that could allow armies to rapidly strike distant targets anywhere around the world. The flight was conducted at Shaanxi province on 9 January and the Chinese vehicle is supposed to travel at Mark 10 or 10 times the speed of sound, according to a report in the Washington Free Beacon, an online publication. The Chinese state-run broadcaster CCTV quoted the Defense Ministry Information Office as saying, China's planned domestic scientific research and experiments are normal and are not aimed at any country or target. It did not explicitly confirm or deny the test. Officials from the Pentagon told the Washington Freedom Beacon that Chinese People's Liberation Army has tested its newly developed hypersonic missile on January 9. This missile, dubbed the Wu-14 by the Pentagon, is believed to be launched from Shaanxi and landed in Gansu in China. The Washington Free Beacon reported that the experimental weapon represents a major step forward in China's secretive strategic nuclear and conventional military and missile programs. The new hypersonic craft appears to be launched atop one of China's intercontinental ballistic missiles, then glides and maneuvers at speeds of up to 10 times the speed of sound from near space en route to its target, the report said. Hypersonic speed is between 3,840 miles per hour and 7,680 miles per hour, also known as Mark V to Mark X. The report said that hypersonic weapons use cutting-edge technology for flying and maneuvering at ultra-high speeds in space and air. It can be fired from the last stages of intercontinental ballistic missile or submarine-launched ballistic missiles. China is also developing a hypersonic, scramjet-powered vehicle that can take off independently or be launched from a bomber. Pentagon spokesman Lieutenant Col Jeffrey Poole said, We routinely monitor foreign defense activities and we are aware of this test. However, we don't comment on our intelligence or assessments of foreign weapon systems. We encourage greater transparency regarding their defense investments and objectives to avoid miscalculation. Mark Stokes, a retired the United States Air Force officer and analyst working for the Washington-based 2049 Institute said that the development of China's hypersonic weapon has become a great challenge for the United States missile defense. Regarding the test, the United States military analyst Richard Fisher said, the Chinese are actively seeking global military power to challenge the United States, and it is not yet in any mood to talk or engage in arms control about it. Currently, the United States, China and Russia are all engaged in a hypersonic arms race.